Nice to have you with us.
Warrior is played by Broadway veteran Lily Cooper, who also happens to be a nursing mom, both on stage and in real life. I mean, you're strapping it all out. I was just going to throw on. I'm really strapping it on. And I think it adds to the chaos of being a working mom is finding time to pump while you're at work. It's crazy. What does the show say? That being a working mom is hard. It's really hard. And I think it's kind of taken for granted that you just do it. Leah Delaria of Orange is the New Black fame plays a different type of working woman. She's the president's jailbird drug dealing sister. <laughs> Susie Nakamura I play and I play girlfriends in this. So yeah, that's um, that's a lot of fun. I get to kiss both these girls. <laughs> I get to kiss six, sixteen times a week. Right here. And Saturday Night Live alum, Rachel Dratch, is the president's mousy secretary who's trying to change her image. Are you having a stroke? I have power dancing. I'm decreasing my cortisol and increasing my testosterone. She's kind of the wise fool in all of this, Ooh, right? I like that. That makes me feel like she makes me really lofty. <laughs> Why do you want to play this role? Uh, well, just, I don't know, just like, seems super fun. I mean, first of all, it's Broadway, my Broadway debut, and I've always had to react. All of these colorful characters come directly from the imagination of playwright Selena Fillinger making her Broadway debut, too. So here you are, 28 years old, on Broadway! <laughs> she grew up in Oregon and studied playwriting at Northwestern. How'd you get the idea for this show? You know, we were having this, this series of headlines, basically, about powerful men abusing their power. It was fascinating because they always had this circle of women around them that were always defending them or enabling them. Uh, so what, what's going on? So I became really fascinated with what those women's daily lives looked like. I'm sure a lot of people are going to see this play and wonder, is there any particular president that you're going to find this year? I mean, it's an amalgamation of so many of them. So I think it's a story that you can put in so many institutions, so many companies, so many schools, so many homes. And if you wake up, you do it all over again. And bringing Stillinger's play to life is a director who broke through Broadway's glass ceiling. Five-time Tony Award winner Susan Stroman. You read the script before you knew how old she is. Yes, yes. <laughs> I went and found out. I, I couldn't believe this. I couldn't believe it. The show says a lot about women. Not only can they be funny without a man around, but also the idea of the show about women in charge to do something that's fantastic and have that room just filled with estrogen, just women, just women, uh, being creative, being funny, um, in the lead, in the power, um, you know, working together. It was a completely different process than I've ever been involved with before in terms of creating something new. And boy, do they use their power. You're not going anywhere. Oh, who's there stopping, aren't you? Yes.
but I laughed so hard. And I had a woman come up to me and say, oh, I started laughing and I laughed so hard I wet my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, huge Pants commercial. Yeah. Right time.